It sounds like it should now. <clears throat> Here's my upgrades that I did. I downloaded the files for the Replicator 2 uh, CTC. I drilled a hole in the top. And you put the screw, there's a spring in there. <coughs> Over on the side for this lever. And this back screw back here. I had to uh, cut it a little bit so it'd be shallow. This side, it's the regular length screw with just a washer. Um, and then down here was uh, one of the little screws that come with the kit. I drilled a hole in the side of the heat sink to compensate for that hole right there. And then put it all together. Put it together too tight my first time. I had to loosen these two fan screws over here on the side so that way it would work like it was supposed to had it all pressed together too tight. It's nice and tight but not He-Man tight. But as you can see that is totally taken care of. The clunk clunk click click not working. I'm gonna print off a couple more of those because I'll probably buy another one of these printers in the future. So, as soon as they come, I'm just gonna do that upgrade. Hey, anybody that's buying one of these, just look into doing that upgrade. Where it looks a little funny right now is the supports it's building. I don't know why. I told it not to do supports, but it's gonna do supports. But we'll see. I shrunk this item down much smaller than it was, down to 20 millimeters. It was 90. So we'll see what happens. I mean, look, it's already 8% through the print. I just wanted a quick something to test. And not necessarily the calibration cube, because I wanted to make sure it's printing good. And it seems like printing this flower, the rose, there's a lot of extrude and retract, re extrude, retract, re and it's back and forth a lot. And that's, I think, was a true test for the machine before. But it's working good now. Even the supports look pretty good. They're just usually bubbles and blotches, so you could break them away. About to start printing the actual flower here in about another five, six layers, I think. I've already gone this far a couple times. See the ripply stuff here? Nice and smooth there at the top. That's how much of a difference a fan makes. This is the only fan I've been using. Just my little fan for my drum set. mass improvement in the print just by turning the fan on see where it's white right here that line that's where the extruder started messing up before and down inside there yeah that's where my extruder started messing up and I started noticing when they would mess up. I have another one around here. I haven't attempted three times and my extruder messed up each time. I think it's because all the extrude and retract, extrude and retract. If I was to like printing this part, I had no problems because it's just constantly extruding. But yeah, you're getting one of these printers, the Prusa. CTC clone. It's worth the money, but download that part before you get it. I did the right arm. You might want to do the left arm. Um, but I did the right arm because of where it put the, the line through. And there's still room to use it. So 
Heck, I might leave it like that. I got a boat and an extruder and stuff on the way, but if this will work, I'll stick with direct drive for a while. Enjoy your day, folks.